This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Well, we're at the match. We made it. It's you and Christian in the Impact Zone. You've been wrestling at the Impact Zone at this point for almost three months. Is the crowd, do you feel like it's starting to get a little burned out seeing all this action week after week after week? Same same fan base, same, same well, location. That, that was the reason. We had the same fans come every week. Sometimes a few different fans, but for the most part, they were very loyal and they were awesome fans. But it does get a little old when you're going every week, the same place and doing, you know, doing your wrestling, doing your show and uh, not traveling around the country and going to different cities and getting new crowds every week. We had the same crowd every week and it's going to get old after a while. Well, you have Christian versus the Olympic hero, Kurt Angle, for the NWA title. That's the main event for Against All Odds. In the matches beforehand, you had a chain match between AJ Styles and Rhino, Sting beating Abyss in a, in a prison yard match, Lance Hoyt, who we now know in AEW as Lance Archer, with David Eckstein against Dale Torberg with AJ Przinsky. And then you had the big bad oil guy in a tuxedo street fight against Christy Hemi. <laughs> was this all tough to follow when you're able just to have, hey, I just want a straight wrestling match? Is it a tough yeah, to follow? Yeah, there were a lot of gimmick matches that night, and it was really tough to follow. But I had all the confidence in the world that Christian and I could pull it off. And we went 19 minutes. It, it was a great match, so I can't complain about that. The true wrestling fan was begging for you <laughs> and Christian. <laughs> for pure wrestling. That's and, right. That's right. They didn't get any of it. The, uh, <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have Christian Cage. He would pin you in 19 minutes and two seconds to retain the title. Angle guaranteed before the match. This is from uh, Dave Meltzer. He before the match that he would win the title. You know, Cornette has zero power because the Cornette booking rule of thumb is if the face either guarantees, promises, or swears to God on something on television, he has to deliver. Now, Kurt, this is an old school thought process, but it doesn't look great when the baby face doesn't come through. Would you agree? I agree. I think he's right. But I also think that a baby face can save face if the heel cheats and wins. So if, if, if the heel wins straight up, I understand, you know, uh, uh, guaranteeing a win uh, would be detrimental. But when you guarantee a win and the, and the heel cheats, I think you have an out. Right. Know? That's the monkey wrench. Yeah. That's the saving grace. Hey, listen, he didn't beat me straight, you know, he didn't beat me straight up. So there you go. Well, Tomko came out with Christian, but Steiner, it, he didn't show up. He's not there yet. They spent the whole show teasing that Tomko and Steiner didn't get along. Joe came out a couple of minutes into the match to be the ringside enforcer. Angle did a running tackle, but Christian moved and Angle shoulder hit the post. Joe was at ringside coaching Angle to get up. So we have Kurt Steiner and Tomko and Christian have been together for like four days at this point. Way too soon for that, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They built a coalition in like four days. It was yeah. just too quick, too fast. Too many big stars in that one one uh, group of guys. Uh, yeah, definitely. The, the Christian Coalition. Was there a reason Joe came out late to the match, by the way? I don't know. I don't know why he came out late. I'm not sure why he wasn't there the whole entire match. Maybe he was late to the show that night. I don't know. But you never know what happened. But I... I you know, I, I think they wanted to give him, um, uh, you know, like his own personal entrance in the middle of the match to show, hey, everybody, Samoa Joe's here. So I, I do understand why they did in the middle of the match, but it didn't make any sense because he was the unofficial ring enforcer, and I thought he should have been there the whole entire match. Back to Meltzer. He said Christian worked over the shoulder. He went for an unprettier, but angle reversed into an ankle lock. Christian did a low blow and hit the unprettier, but ankle kicked out. Angle did the running up the ropes, belly to belly superplex. He followed with seven German suplexes, but Christian kicked out. AJ Styles was the first guy in, but Jay, Joe chased him to the back. With everyone distracted, Christian hit angle with a chair shot and try both a frog splash and an unprettier, but angle kicked out of both. Did they have ang uh, agents helping with you put this, this whole thing together like WWE had? They had a couple of agents, but the talent usually put the matches together and presented it to the agent, and the agent would approve. In WWE, the agent's every bit a part of the match as, the, as you're structuring it. So with TNA, you have a little more creative liberty as the talent to put the match together. 
it just felt like there was a lot of interference in these TNA main events. Uh, and I just never understood the thought process and, and always having, you know, the, these kind of chaotic interferences in these big time main events. I'm not sure why that occurred. Uh, you know, it could be because, you know, the agents didn't really take control of the matches. Um, you know, me personally, I didn't, uh, tell which talent when to come in or with time and during my match. So that, that is the agent's uh, decision, but for some reason they did it quite a bit. They did. Well, Hey, let's get to the finishing sequence of the match, Kurt, as we wrap up this big time event with you and Christian, let's check it out. Olympic slam it again. The referee's down and out. He does it. There's nothing that the ref can do. He's out down. Samoa Joe takes Thomas, throws him into the ring. One, two. Oh, Christian came just in time. Angle on the verge of victory. Just this far away from winning the NWA World's Heavyweight title for the first time. Wow, Mike. It's exhausting. What a matchup. And again, you see Christian Cage right the eyes, and he oh, hits the referee. God. Andrew Thomas takes another shot. Angle ducked. Christian hit him. But, boy, Christian never saw that clothesline coming. Wait a minute. Tom 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 Oh, think, think of the energy, though, that, that Angle's expending with these German suplexes. He's tossing Tom Cole around. There's a, Scott Steiner. Scott Steiner just came by the table. He's got that pipe. He's got that lead pipe. The referee, and keep in mind, nobody's actually made contact. What more does Kurt Angle have to overcome out there? They think about it. They've thrown everything at him. Every obstacle tossed in his path. Samoa Joe close lights Tom Cole to the floor. Samoa Joe doing everything he can to help Kurt Angle win this match. And now Joe says, finish it. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Finish it. Christian, in the back of his mind, has to realize what? that a disqualification loss would cost him the title as Joe and Angle come face to face. What are we watching? Oh, ah! suicide dive. Unbelievable. Joe takes out Combo and Snyder. Takes them both out. This is unreal. But Kurt Angle again. Oh. Right by the broadcast table. Joe with those rights and lefts. Has Tomko really? Scott Steiner right by his oh. Scott Steiner steel chair. Oh, but Joe fights it off and counters it. And then hits him with the chair. Oh, oh and nails Steiner on hand. Look at oh. Joe. Oh. Got two chair shots on the top of the head. <laughs> Doing everything That's he can straight. so that Kurt Angle can win this match. But Tom look at Kurt Angle. He's taking goes. everything he can do. The imitation. Make, and there's nothing left. <laughs> Tomko and Samoa Joe fight to the back. So for those that can't see this, he's doing a Christian does a Kurt Angle in imitation of pulling the strap down. Angle reverses into the ankle lock. Uh, the, this is the second time. He's had him. He's had him beat. He should have the belt at this point. He's but again, beat. the referee's down again. He's beaten him. I don't know what he goes he can do. What else can you ask of this man? He's overcome he's every Come on. He's tapping out. That's not quite a bit of time here, isn't it? What's that? Ref's out for quite a bit of time. Yeah, ref's over there taking a serious nap. <laughs> Christian just hit you with a pipe instead of a sledgehammer in WWF. Now it's a pipe in TNA. Here we go. Patience. He had the belt now the ref wakes grass, up. But the referee was down both times, and now Cage That's tries to revive him. You can see Cage still lifting with that ankle lock with supplies. And now he's woken the referee up. He's setting him up for the attorney, God. and he nails it perfectly. Can Kurt Angle get his shoulder up again? Come on, one, two, no! That's what you do. You smack the concussed referee in the back of the head a few times to wake him up. Three times. Line, line of the show. That was fantastic. So, uh, so there we go. So according to Meltzer, we, he, he breaks everything down that we just heard Joe coming out angle. You trying the, the ankle lock. I'm not going to go through all of his notes, but he did wrap this up. He says, good match, but every TNA NWA title match has had the same ref bump spots. And they're in the most WWE and the, and he says they are in most WWE title matches as well because they're easy pops, but in this belt, they felt old. They had the crowd at the end, which was no small feat given that nobody else could get them throughout that entire card that I read you earlier. You guys had the card in the palm of your hand, 
But Dave said this didn't have what I'd call usual main event heat. He gave it three and a half stars. Kurt, what did you think? This is a second loss. This time it's the Christian who, by the way, was still undefeated at this point. So what'd you think of this one? I thought it was a great match. I thought the finish was a little screwy, a um, little unorganized, a little bit messy, uh, probably because it was so complicated. You have so many people involved, uh, weapons involved, chairs, pipes, uh, ref bumps. It was really complicated. I think way too complicated than it needed to be. I mean, I would have rather just wrestled Christian in a straight up amateur wrestling match and uh you know had the referee decide the winner <laughs> how fun would have that been right just a classic yeah. simpler match. the better yeah that would have been a lot of fun a lot of overthinking over complicating back and in these days you don't days. have to remember every damn little spot you know yeah. when the weapon was coming in when uh wrestler was charging into the ring uh you just it's just really complicated well listen it's reported in the observer that one of the original plans was for 10 German suplexes. You called it short at seven. Is that correct though? Do you remember you guys, you were going to try to do 10 Germans? Yeah. Yeah. The ring was really stiff and Christian was taking some hard bumps and I stopped at seven. I didn't okay. want to put him through the other three. <laughs> it, it was really hard. He was, he, the wind was getting knocked out of him. So I had this, I had to reduce it to seven. And you know what, Kurt, that's a nice guy. You know, I mean, you did spit in his face a couple of weeks <laughs> earlier. So the least you could do is only give him seven German suplex. You're so. right. Hurt him less. There you go. <laughs> hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.